fight of the night. Give it up for the ladies, folks. Put your hands together for them. This bout will be a fully professional bout with elbows and knees to the head fully allowed. Your first competitor fighting out of the blue corner, representing Kai Next Level Mixed Martial Arts, fighting out of New York City, Destiny the Cage Cutie Kinones. I'm pretty excited for this fight, Rob. I'm anytime, excited. Anytime reality fighting has women in the cage, they put on the fight of the night, I would say, Nine out of, seven out of ten times. I agree with that. Seven out of ten is a good Pretty number. Pretty good odds. Yeah, that's better. Seven out of ten is better than eight out of ten, right? These ladies come to scrap. I agree. Destiny looks comfortable moving around. What's up, man? And her opponent, representing Calandrelli Mixed Martial Arts, fighting out of New Haven, Connecticut, the Spider Monkey, Marissa Messer Balendria. The woman of many names, Marissa Messer Valencia, coming out now. I'm gonna call, go ahead and call her Spider Monkey. She's got a lot of fans in the, the audience tonight. I believe she's making her debut here out of uh, Ultimate MMA, Andrew Calandrelli. We're gonna make a big impact. She's got a pretty extensive background. She's done quite a bit of uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, she's done some Muay Thai, and. Uh, she wrestled with Blair Tugman at Tugman Wrestling, and uh, she's pretty well rounded. We got the Spider Monkey against the Cage Cutie. Should be a pretty good fight here. Destiny is not impressed in her corner. She's ready to fight. And Ladies her, and gentlemen, do not notice it. This will be an amateur bout. The professional bite, bout is coming later. Hundred and fifteen pounds, amateur uh, division, three three-minute rounds. I wouldn't be surprised if this was fight of the night right here. Marissa comes right across the cage, punches into a clinch. She's looking for the takedown here. Both in an over-under position. Marissa pushes Destiny up against the cage here. Keeping her hips in tight. Both look like twins from this position. Marissa has pretty good control of the hips here. Just keeping her head in high and tight against uh, Destiny's head. In, in mixed martial arts, nine out of 10 times, the head is the steering wheel. If you control the opponent's head, you control their body. And Marissa's doing a great job of that. Marissa's got a bit of a, a high headlock position. Back into a, a more standard clinch here, over under. Destiny uh, tried to go, go kind of high on her back for it looked like an arm bar attempt possibly, but Marissa controlled her hip. She's on top now. Inside control looking to pass into mount. Marissa's got a bit of a neck crank going on right now in Destiny. And she achieves side control here. You can definitely tell she's a, a pretty accomplished or at least astute grappler. Marissa looking for the perfect position here in side control.
30 seconds to go in the round. Marissa's on top inside control here. Definitely control round one, keeping herself in good position, keeping a lot of pressure, keeping a lot of weight on her opponent. Trying to pass maybe the full, full mount here. Ten seconds left in round one. Marissa keeps looking to pass. She's not content to stay in half guard here. Good start to round one. Definitely have to give that, that first round to Marissa. Both fighters looking phenomenal shape. As I told the folks at home, the girls come to scrap every time. They train hard, they fight hard. Both girls are completely composed in their corners. <laughs> Round two, here we go. Marissa right across the cage again. Destiny throw punches as Marissa clinches. Marissa definitely looking like she wants to fight on the ground. Difficult from the position to see what she has. Destiny reverses around the cage here. Looks like she's got double unders. Oh, no, she's got standard clinch here. Marissa gets off the cage. The clinch is absolutely the most grueling part of mixed martial arts. You know, a lot of people sit and they talk, oh, you know, why was everybody, while they're wrestling, while they're laying on each other, it is absolutely grueling. It's tiring, you're fighting for control, you're fighting, you know, you gotta make sure you're not getting punched, you gotta make sure you're, you know. Both girls separate, nice Destiny's one, two. throwing punches. Destiny's throwing punches, Marissa's definitely looking to uh, take this fight to the ground. Take down from Marissa here. Marissa's in side control here, definitely in good position. Destiny definitely wants to try to uh, regain uh, full guard, or at least half guard, work back to her feet, possibly use the cage to get up. Destiny's doing a good job here of preventing Marissa from going to full mount. Looked like Marissa was about to set up an arm bar, but... Difficult with the cage. She's got, one, she got Destiny's arm trapped under her body right now. Looks like Marissa has a chief full mount. In your first couple fights in amateur MMA, the mount's a hard position to be in. You can't punch to the face on the ground. You can only hope to kind of set up submissions. You can throw body punches to the armpits, the shoulders, but it's not as easy in amateur MMA as it is in, in uh, professional MMA to work from the full mount. Looks like Marissa might be uh, looking to set up an arm bar here. She's getting a little bit high here, isolating her uh, Destiny's left arm. But Destiny was keen to it. She's adjusting, using the cage for defense. Here goes Marissa looking for the arm bar again. Great top definitely control. Great definitely, top I was going to say, keeping herself in great position. Destiny's still working from the bottom. Definitely not staying stagnant, not letting her try to get any... Uh, letting a scrapper. Her... She's in this She fight. is. She's staying tough. That's right there. Destiny got side control here. Worked back into, uh, into half guard, rather. Marissa looking to pass into side control. Has a 10-second warning clip. And Marissa, Marissa gets side control. Good round, too. Both rounds I would give to Marissa. Definitely a, a grappling heavy fest. I think Destiny's looking to strike more and Marissa's keeping it in her um, 
her comfort zone on the ground, grappling where she's definitely getting the better of the action. Without a doubt, buddy. Good first two rounds. It's a, it's a good fight from both both women here. It's good showing. Majority of people sitting at home are probably complaining, oh, they're not striking, why they're not punching. I'll tell you right now, the striking is not what makes you tired. The striking is not the difficult part, difficult part of MMA. It's definitely the grueling, carrying somebody else's weight. You're worrying about keeping yourself in your position, not giving up, you know, any limbs. That way nobody can submit you. So uh, definitely uh, Destiny seems a little disappointed in the corner. But um, oh, she's a gamer, you know, she's looking oh, yeah. for, uh, for more. She's very competitive. And don't be surprised to watch her come out and, and throw some bombs here and look for a finish. Not a bad thing to hold high standards for yourself. She probably knows she's down uh, down two rounds. Both seem in phenomenal shape. Both seem very well conditioned. Neither one are breathing hard at all. Marissa doesn't even look red in the face. She doesn't even look like she's barely sweating. Neither fighter looks like they're uh, doing too bad here. Marissa, Marissa comes right across both that times, cage. every time, first round. She's the one that initiates the contact. And like you said earlier, you know, some of the fights we had, maybe uh, Destiny's a little bit hesitant to throw those punches, knowing that Marissa can get inside and maybe take her down. Marissa definitely keep herself in good position again. She's in half guard right here. Difficult from this position to see what she's working for. Now I am joined by the president of Naga and the owner of Reality Fighting, Kip Kohler. What's up, buddy? What's going on, Rob Brown? How you doing, bud? Good. Good fights, not too bad. Yeah, I mean, you know, these girls are 115 pounds, yeah, so they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna strike. They want to submit each other, and the fact that it's an amateur bout, they can't punch on to the face on the ground. I so. agree, and then uh, definitely Destiny is definitely the striker in the thing. Marissa's both fighters look like they're in phenomenal shape. Neither breathing heavy. Marissa's, no. I tell you what, Marissa has definitely came to fight. She is definitely 100 percent in this. Oh, she lives at the gym. That girl's training all the time. If it's not jujitsu, it's boxing. If it's not you know boxing or kickboxing, it's it's something else. That girl's you know, just working out all the time. Destiny's a tough girl, too. Trying yeah, to keep herself in this fight. I think fight. this is her fifth or sixth fight, Destiny. She's done well. Both fighters have definitely done well. This is tiring. Definitely for Destiny. Keeping yourself on bottom. You're carrying somebody else's weight. You're, you know, you're trying to work back to your feet. Yeah, I think it's Destiny's advantage because she's fought five times. Actually, if she fought, Mercer's only, I think this is her debut. Is so it? that's why there's no punching on the ground. But it's actually good for Destiny because she's been mounted a few times in this bout. And uh, she'd be getting pounded in the face right now if it wasn't a first fight for uh, Marissa. This is true. Sometimes it's a little uneventful for the fans because they can't punch to the face. But, you know, they're amateurs. They don't want them to get hurt. So Yeah, that's what we were talking about, me and John. We were discussing a little bit. It's the fact that everybody's at home probably booing and all while they're not striking to each other. But you and I both know that the grappling, the wrestling, carrying somebody else's weight, you know, the, fighting for position, you know, fighting the state of submissions, this is much more grueling and tiring than striking is. Yeah, this is rough for Destiny because Marissa's got a really good top game. She's hard to get off. I mean, she's trying to get a submission here, but... She stayed tight the whole time. I don't think there's barely been any space in between her hips and uh, Destiny's body the whole entire fight. If Destiny works, got, got that half guard. See if she can get full guard. Maybe I'll get tell you what, you know, I give 100% uh, props to uh, Destiny. She's been trying to stay in this fight the whole time, and uh, obviously, as everyone can see as well as myself, Marissa's no joke here on top, definitely with her jiu-jitsu game. Keeps herself in good position. Constantly pressuring the whole time. Good, good three yeah, round fight round. here. I think we're definitely seeing a unanimous decision from Marissa. Destiny should not be disappointed in herself. You know, you definitely learn your biggest, uh, biggest things from your losses. So hopefully she can take some good things from this and move forward and progress in her MMA career. Yeah, it's it's tough for the women. You know, they don't have a lot of people to train with that are their size, their skill level. So they're typically fighting guys. You know, then they get in here and then they finally have somebody to go against. But you know, it's not the same in the gym. No, most definitely not. But and that's another thing, too, a lot of people don't take in consideration is uh, it's a completely different atmosphere when, from when you're in the training room. There's no pressure. There's no family. There's no friends watching. Then you step in the cage in you know, a big arena in front of thousands of people. It definitely adds that nervousness. Heart rate maybe goes up. Your blood pressure goes up a little bit. You fatigue sooner. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you're an amateur, or it's your first fight or first few fights, man. It sucks the life out of you waiting oh. for your fight, you know. I always wanted to fight first when I was 
you know, in my, my fighting career. It's the worst, too, because uh, I call it fight anxiety. It's like, you know, usually most people have an eight- to nine-week camp, but, you know, four or five weeks out, all you can think about is, like, all right, you're going to bed, you're thinking about fighting, you wake up, you're thinking about fighting, and all you want to uh, yeah, do is rough. fight and get it's rid rough. of that feeling. All right, I'm going to go in there and interview the winner. There you go. All right, take care, Rob. Take care, buddy. until Kip's done talking. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27 for your winner. Fighting out of the red corner, the spider monkey, Marissa Messer Bellandria. Hold on, Marissa, you take your picture in a minute. First of all, you guys, let's give both ladies a big round of applause. You know, now, Destiny, she's had like five fights, correct? And this is your first or second fight? First fight. Um, that's the reason you're not allowed to punch to the face on the ground. I think if you were allowed to punch on the face on the ground, this fight would have been over a lot earlier. Um, yes, it would have. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I mean, that's, it's a, I think it's a good rule here in Connecticut. You did an excellent job controlling her on the ground, excellent jiu-jitsu skills. You mounted her several times throughout the fight. Um, was that really the game plan? Did you really want to go to the ground with her? Uh, yep, I can, I'm comfortable both, but uh, the ground is more so. You know, I was talking to Rob, he was doing the commentating over there, and we noticed neither of you guys got really tired. I mean, both of you were, came into excellent shape, excellent conditioning for the fight. I train very hard all the time, so I definitely feel really good right now. <laughs> hey, Marissa, congratulations to you. Andrew, excellent job. We look forward to seeing you here again. Thank you, Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Again, congratulations to both fighters. Melissa dominating her grappling here. Destiny, you know, definitely looked good too. She looked disappointed walking by, but you know, that's kind of what goes with the sport. There's got to be a winner. There's got to be a loser. I'm sure Marissa's going to continue to work. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like uh, to remind you that after the event, we are having a raptor fight party at the.